Hey guys, it's James from Squid Gaming, and I am playing, obviously, Minecraft. I'm playing uh, Snapshot um, Week 34B, 2012, obviously, so 12W34B is what it's called. Um, and it has some really cool stuff, especially for, like, um, for map builders. I am... I'm really looking forward to a lot of this stuff. Uh, mm. um, so yeah, uh, first things first, some sort of very minor things. Uh, you see leather, it's been changed slightly. The textures on uh, leather and diamond armor are just the tiniest bit different, but they're pretty much the same. Mm. No not noticeable and that's in uh, the icon and wearing them um, and an awesome thing you can do is um, let's grab all of these just random colors uh, you can now uh, dye them so let's give myself a pink cap I mean that's just, just gonna be so good for like you know uh, role-playing sort of servers and uh, yeah yellow pants definitely what if you dye it brown slightly different brown shoes so that's gonna look sick yeah see like that <laughs> I look I look retarded but it's just so um, so much more variety now. You can sort of do it all black and go ninja. You can go all white and be like a monk priest kind of thing. Um, also, if you how, is, how do you do it again? You grab this and you right click on the thing on the cauldron with water in it. You will uh, clean the dye off. This is because uh, say I have my what's burning out there? Skeleton was dying. I have my gold pants, and then I put some pink on them. It sort of goes halfway between, which is really awesome, but you might not always want it. So I can sort of go a slightly lighter gold, so sort of some uh, beige pants. Oh, shit, I didn't actually mean to do that. Okay, I'll make some more gold pants. I could go some sort of off brown disgusting pants you go yes yeah, so just just massive amounts of combinations of different pants and everything that you can do I like my gold pants I got my my brown shoes um, and this uh, the te the color in third person a bug that hasn't been fixed yet is is wrong um, but they should fix that soon um, Next, big thing, so you know, that is pretty awesome. It's going to be great for a lot of uh, multiplayer sort of applications. Next is the new maps. Um, you can zoom these out, but I didn't. Uh, but these are maps now aligned to a grid. So if you made a map anywhere in this area, it would always be the same center until you went off it, and then it would be this one. And they're also now one to one, so each block is a is a block. Each pixel is a block. Um, so yeah, and obviously they're on a wall, which is uh, another massive change, um, which I think a lot of people have been wanting for a long time, especially me. But as you see, they actually are, are updating real time. Like my little dude is actually moving. I'm just not moving enough to to notice. Um, and these are the way that they are uh, working. Let's chuck all this crap back in here. Um, the way they work is the new item. Where is it? Oops. Item frame, which I'm using around here. It's this one here. You get the item frame. You can put the item frame in an item frame. Um, so basically, if you put a block in an item frame, it'll stick out a little bit, which is really useful for some stuff that I'll show in a sec. And if you put an item 
so like uh, something that doesn't have a I mean obviously this does have a block but it's just the, uh, the item thing the time you know uh, like added together crossways um, so yeah and if you right click you can rotate them so you can uh, oops, you can say get a very various different things work you can sort of you can make sort of arrows with say a diagonally sort of arrows and then sort of straight arrows say with redstone or a torch so if you did this you could have it pointing different directions uh, if you did that you could have that doing the same thing and then if you did that you could have it pointing the other directions so you can get sort of eight pointing directions you can't put them on the ground, can you? No, that would be a bit ridiculous. But yeah, and also you can uh, do this. You can like paintings; they don't take up the block in front of them, so you can, you know, uh, double up. Enchanting table. So yeah, I've got uh, for the library. I've got little bookcase sticking out. So I got some flowers here. I put a flower and carrots there because. Yeah, carrots, you say. Um, I have carrots growing down here. That's some carrots there. And this side is potatoes, which are some growing there, I believe. They're grown. Um, so those are some new crops that there is. Uh, carrots are used for brewing the night vision potion, I believe. Yep, the night vision potion is uh, done with golden carrots, which I'm not exactly sure how to make, but look it up. Um... So more stuff is awesome, and there's some really cool combinations here. This is a trap door and a torch, because you can put an item frame behind something it's already stuck on, like like a torch or a lever or a button, and uh, so you can put a little bracket for the torch, or one really great uh, thing is for uh, organizing your redstone keep doing that uh, wow <laughs> keep tapping Q um, if you grab this and then you put a red a, a red wool block and then you aim just off the frame so you place a lever there I'm not sure if they did this on purpose or not but I hope they keep it it's now a color coded lever, so you can do that with any color wool. You can do it with blocks as well. So that means, like, say if you had a redstone signal coming off this wall on some red wool, you could tell which one it was immediately and line it up, and it would just all be really organized. Um, which would be great for a lot of people that you know keep track of a lot of redstone. So that's really good. You see these maps flickering as they're updating, as they're walking. I believe that's what they're doing. They're doing something. Um, so yeah, also, these are flower pots, which you can also put saplings in, you can put mushrooms in them, you can put a few other things in them. You can't grow stuff in them though, but it's really cool because you can now have a sapling in your house without worrying about it suddenly sprouting up and, you know, completely destroying your house with a huge ass tree, which would be annoying. And also, um, stair blocks, as you can see there um, can now be placed well they could always be placed like that but now they're a lot easier to place I don't think you could do that before but if you do say this and then the same again and then again and again you'll see it actually makes a corner on the, uh, on the upside down stair and that works on right way upstairs as well I believe so you go like that 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 and that which is just looks amazing it makes a really nice way to make a couch like that actually looks like a couch um, which is good you can also make a new type of couch with item frames uh, and you can put stuff on the sides which can be like uh, a warrior's chair, or a, or a florist's chair. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's also pretty awesome. Like, 
really good for uh, creative builds and making your house look nice. This is the new, basically, it's basically a fence, but uh, but cobblestone and also mossy cobblestone. I'm not going to do crafting recipes in this because, I mean, you can just look them up, it's not too hard. They work exactly the same way as a fence. The only thing I have noticed is that fences don't actually attach to them. It's the one block that fences don't attach to. And when you have them like this, you can actually walk in between them. Although I don't think my villager figured that out, because I left this open for ages and he didn't get out. Um, creeper is... Um, I don't like that at all. Um, because if he blows this up, I'm going to be very sad. So that's that. Um, also, so, I know I've gone through a lot of stuff and there's a lot more to go. You're probably wondering what those dudes are. I'll get to that in a bit. Um, there's some new... Just clear my inventory. There is some new uh, items added. I'll show the maps as well. So if you're quick enough to read those, that was... That was a splash potion of invisibility, yes, if you saw the picture of that on the forum post uh, and on uh, Dinnerbone's thing a while ago, um, you will know about this. Uh, night vision, I'll show you these both in a sec. Um, and then, I have noticed this button here before. Oops, I just right clicked it. This is a wooden button which works very similar to a wooden pressure plate in that it can be triggered by things other than the player and like other mobs. Just turn this off. Oops. Uh, if that even works. Um, so yeah, so you can now some of the applications of this is like if you press the button down from this side, say with the dispenser and they walk on the other side of the wall they will pick the arrow up and then that could trigger a trap or something it can make a much less conspicuous sort of invisible tripwire kind of thing there is also tripwires but that wasn't this snapshot but probably tripwires are bloody hard to see anyway um, and also this is a enchanted bow which I got power for flame one, infinity one and punch one so if I shoot this out of TNT, it had flame, and flame now sets off TNT, and I just, that was not what I intended to do, just mangled everything, I'm surprised I didn't kill a villager, uh, this villager, what does he want, give him an emerald and he'll give me a stake, because there is a new particle effect, apparently. Um, so I, come here, I give you, I think I probably just missed it, uh, I don't know, there's apparently a particle effect, I can't see it, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, those things, uh, these are empty maps, which, Instead of crafting a map and it just appearing straight away as a map, these now, when you right click, uh, turn into maps. And this one's an updated version of that one, which I have just screwed. I'm just going to break that one. Grab a item frame that there so now it's updated and it actually has my little thing so these don't actually update in real time you have to replace them but it's still pretty good and they track players which is the best part um, now this was my splash potion of invisibility now I can use it on myself or I could just go use it on these guys so if I do that boom but see spider's still there you can see his eyes and the zombie's still there because you can hear him so they are there, and I can use it on myself as well, if I... You can still see my boots, and you can still see what's in my hand. But you can't see the rest of me, unless I drink some milk. And this one is 
splash potion of night vision, which that makes everything extremely bright and looks really awesome in the nether. And I guess now I will go on to what these guys are. Firstly, I cannot see those anymore. I'm just going to drink some milk because I can't see anything properly, I don't think. Okay, these guys' collars have become white now. But you can now dye dogs' collars. So let's make them pink. It doesn't seem to be working because, I don't know, some sort of graphical glitch, but they are pink now, you just can't see it. So that was the boring part of these animals. This is a little bubby, uh, bubby zombie with full diamond armor and a diamond sword. And he also has a slightly higher pitched groan, which is just adorable. Yeah, there it was. So cute. So he's, he's really adorable. This is a uh, TNT head zombie with a flint and steel, very dangerous, might light his head on fire and kill us all. This is a scholarly testificate villager zombie with a white tunic. Um, I'll explain how I did this in a bit, uh, and this is Cactus Face, who has half a face of a cactus and a yellow flower. Hello Cactus Face. Yeah, you can't get me, can you bitch? I'm gonna make you all invisible. No, I'm not, so I don't want to make them invisible. So make you invisible. Now you see, he's completely cactus head, floating cactus head and flower. Um, these guys, because uh, they made it now that mobs can pick up, have a chance to pick up items on the ground. If I get this zombie, can I drop him some arrows? He may pick one up. May not. Come on, pick it up. He might be more inclined to pick up a sword. I, you're not helping me here, zombie. I'm trying to give you like awesome stuff. Well, pick up some of that. Well, they do have a chance to pick up items, and an exploit of this uh, with a filter from uh, Seth Bling. Oh, the TNT head zombie has disappeared. I'm guessing he despawned. I don't know. That seems to happen when you lock him up like this. Uh, um, but if you use MC Edit and a filter that I got from uh, Seth Bling, if you check out his videos, you can see how to do it. Uh, you can customize mobs that spawn, and you can also turn these guys into mob spawners, so you get infinite of them. So I could I could get a mob spawner that spawns testificate zombies that spawn with books and a white tunic every time, which is really cool. And they will occasionally drop the book and the white tunic if you kill them. Which is also really cool. Go away. No, don't go there. I will make you one of my experiments and... Oh, shit, sure, I hit my dog. Um, what's that diamond sword I had? I threw it away, wooden sword. Oh, he died. I don't know how he died. He died. It wasn't my fault. Also, trapdoors can now be placed on the very top instead of like this, but with a ladder underneath you can't actually do it anyway, so it's not a huge deal, it just looks nicer if you're making a pit of death like this one. Come here, get in. Whatever. Um, uh, yeah, which is cool. Um, the zombies also have a chance to drop carrots and potatoes that are growing down there, so you can, and you just plant them straight from a carrot, not from a seed. Uh, so I'm guessing they dropped multiple. I haven't actually harvested them yet. Um, what am I forgetting? I'll always forget something. Um, oh yeah, so, uh, mobs can now go through portals, which is awesome. So if I get a, I don't even know what that was. An Oslo. I don't want an Oslo. I get a villager and I just chuck him there. Check another one. Oops. I wanted two bottle. I got two bottle of enchanting. That's pretty sick. Now, 
My theory of why they're not on the other side is because because this isn't such a bad spot. The second I get in here, they leave. So I'm pretty sure they will be back on the side now. But they do disappear, and you can get them to go through. Like, if I just stand here, some of them will probably jump through. Maybe. I saw some sheep just sort of jumping into the nether before. I don't know why. That was pretty silly, but they were doing it. Just chilling. Um, so yeah. Wait, yeah. Um, pretty pink cactus face completely disappeared as well. Oh yeah, these guys are pink now. So you see, I dyed them pink. And if you do that, just their colours are there. And that's how you can get the Olympic rings. Um, which is really cool. Um, that's pretty much everything. Definitely the coolest thing is these, uh, custom mobs, which I just made that guy invisible. You invisible. Everyone invisible! Um... Oh wow. Sheep, sheep's wool stays there. What if we're doing a creeper? Because one of the scariest things is a completely invisible creeper. Um, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you love this, uh, this update as much as I'm going to because... This stuff is awesome. These custom mobs are going to be so much fun. Because you can just make mob spawners just spawning the craziest shit. I mean, I could just spawn heaps of these little guys. I could make them invisible and everything. That'd be awesome. Army of... So adorable. Oh, he's the so cutest noises when he dies. Um, okay, yeah. That is creepy. I'm gonna have to shear you to make that go away. Where is he? There he is. It's breaking everything. Okay. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.